Hi guys, looking to extend your network connectivity over a long distance, or do you want to bridge the gap between two locations that are 328 feet apart? Now today in this video, I'm going to show you how to link two long-range PoE switches for a seamless LAN extension. So join us as we explore the possibility of expanding your network reach like never before. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So linking two PoE switches allow for expansion of the network to different physical locations, such as separate buildings or remote sites. And this enables organization to connect and manage devices across multiple sites as a unified network. Now by linking two switches, organization also can reduce the need for long cable run. Instead of running individual cables from a central switch to each devices, now you have two switches, and they can be strategically placed closer to the devices, so they can minimize the cable length and simplifying the cable management. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. This can eliminate the need for a separate power supply. That's why it's become widely used in various industry, such as IT, telecommunication, security, and home automation, etc. However, it is important to know that the PoE has a distant limitation, and the most commonly used Ethernet cable for a PoE setup is CAF5V or higher and they can only support distance of up to 100 meters, that's about 328 feet away. So beyond that range, the power that delivered by the PoE may gradually decrease, and that's why it's leading to insufficient power for devices to operate reliably. Therefore, we need to deploy other network solution tailored to extend the reach of PoE beyond the distance restriction. So now I'm going to connect two long-range PoE switches together. As you can see, I'm placing one here at the edge, and the other one is here by the network router. In between, we have this 200 meters plus 300 meters CAF5E Ethernet cable. So we have a total of 500 meters. Now I'm using the four-port long-range PoE switch. It has PoE power extender feature to break the maximum PoE distance for IP cameras or devices requiring a continuous Ethernet run of 1,500 feet, that's about 500 meters. So let's take a closer look. We have four 100 megabit per second RJ45 PoE port and two 100 megabit per second RJ45 uplink port. But make sure it keep in mind only port number one and two can support long distance PoE transmission. And port number three and four are just regular PoE port. Now, it is also compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. So it can support up to 30 watts of maximum power output. By linking those two switches can bridge the gap between two separate locations and establishing a seamless network connection. Both power and data can be transmitted between the switches and effectively extending the network coverage. The network devices at both endpoints can be seamlessly integrated into the network and enable data communication and centralize the power management. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So the PoE switch is already powered up. You can see the indicator light is on. So now it has to use a short patch cord to connect our long range PoE switch to the router. So the router can provide main network data. And then using this CAF5E cable to plug in port number one or two, remember only port number one and two can support long range PoE. Let's plug it in one. 
and come over here, we have the 200 meters and 300 meters cat 5e, and but they are separated. That's why I need to use a coupler here to connect them together. This is just a simple coupler to join the cables. And let's move over to the edge. The switch is already powered up. And now I'm going to plug it into port number one as well, so you can achieve the long range PoE setup. So the whole setup is done, and it's pretty simple, right? So by linking those two long range switches, you can emphasize safety and reliability over the long run. You can see there's no power transmit over this long cable. It is only transmitting the data. Also, there's no additional extension tool or complex configuration required. The plug and play feature allows for easy of use. And you know, there's nothing else in between, only this single Ethernet cable. So it's very clean and straightforward. And there are some more things that you also should keep in mind. First is the power budget calculation. Our four port long range PoE port can support up to 30 watts of power per port. And second is the pure copper cable. In a PoE setup, you should choose a pure copper cable because it has superior conductivity compared to others. And make sure you use one that is CAT5V or higher standard. Last but not least is the grounding and surge protection. Since this is a long range PoE setup and your cable might expose outdoor, that's why you should properly ground and use surge protection for your devices. So thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling. And you can also share it with friends or family who might benefit from our videos.